traders here's a new video first of all the risk warning your invested capital might be at risk don't trade with money you cannot afford to lose and this video is not an investment advice so this video will be another deep explanation video this video will be about binary option strategy risk candlestick um, uh, psychology and price action patterns and candlestick mass we will cover this and you will see that this what we are going to talk about this chart this live chart which i have forgotten sorry for this but last week i have forgotten to show you the screenshot i got uh, over 100 emails of those one who want to see the live chart this uh, this today i will try to put it in at the end of the video you know we have weekend uh, markets are closed i'm a european trader yes and i do not have the otc market anymore available on a uh, um, iq option so i'm doing this kind of deep explanation video and i have also to say that i'm so busy i'm busy with uh, the bot mentorship program i'm busy with new projects which i'm starting this week uh, which is coming yes you will uh, get some new video series yes a new uh, playlist uh, which will give you access to my instant core knowledge much uh, more in detail than you could expect ever uh, i'm giving away all my knowledge um, so that you can uh, get profitable in the market and uh, you can be really curious about that what i will perform this weekend so this video about binary option strategy price action with candlestick uh, psychology price action patterns and uh, um, candlestick mass will be the topic of this video and i have prepared already a live chart which i have traded yesterday not yesterday so friday morning at uh, nine nine o'clock nine and a half a half an hour Yes, um, because uh, the market was before a little bit uh, um, choppy. So I uh, traded at uh, a half an hour after the opening of the London session. And I will show you um, those kind of trades which I have performed there um, in more detail and showing you what kind of correlated concepts can be seen with this kind of trades which I have done to give you more the insight. Because I see this also, I do this not only for my audience, I do this especially for my bot mentorship program students, which are uh, having difficulty uh, on understanding a good right uh, uh, trading opportunity instead of those ones which are tricky. And I will show you this um, in detail. So let me show you something here. So what do we have here on this kind of chart here? That is the Friday evening of the market, the closing of the market. We have here a nice uptrend. You see here a Bollinger breakout. Yes, you see here how we got into some kind of ranging market. The EMAs are getting flat. Yes, the 20 is a little bit uh, step, but uh, in general, it's not a lot. Here we got a crossing that uh, is, means almost that we get here some kind of um, um, reversal pullback. Yes, a reversal pullback or a continuation. And um, yes, what can I say? We are here far away from the two deviation Bollinger Band. Yes, that is already a first signal that there will be now a reversal coming. The second one is we have here a reversal pattern, a hanging man after a consolidation area. This week is showing selling pressure. Here it looks like we get here some kind of double top forming after a prolonged uptrend. So the next candle will be uh, most probably a bearish candle with a probability that it will be a weak bullish candle. Why will it be a weak bullish candle? Because we have ranging market. Yes, we have a flat 200 EMA. This flat uh, 200 EMA is the reason why we get here this kind of consolidation areas in between here. Yes, this, this, this and this. Yes, and also this one. You see, it's the reason price. What happens here? Price retraced back to the 200 MA. I see so many of my students doing this again and again wrong. And how you have to trade this upcoming candle. And I will explain you this now in detail. So you wait on the next candle, that price, because knowing that you have to do a put yes, is one thing. But doing the put the right way, yes, it's another thing. That is what I have explained in my ebooks when I'm talking about the entry points. Uh, it's look, it sounds like uh, something really easy, something what uh, nobody should care about, yes, the entry point. But I tell you, from my experience, the entry point makes more than 75% of your win success, yes, because what kind of entry point should you should trade after a doji? 
after a doji, your entry point should be always above or below the previous candle closing price. And the previous candle closing price of a doji, yes, is almost uh, the same like the opening price. So you have to try to get after a doji into a trade above or below the closing price. And you will see what I mean this in detail. Yes, because uh, it's important that you understand. So for example, we have it here. Yes, here we have a doji. Yes, we have here a doji and this doji, after this doji, your entry point should be below the closing price of the previous candle. Obviously, in this case, it was, uh, you should enter here above the closing price because we have a pullback. Yes, it is important that you understand this. A pullback in this consolidation area between the 20 and the 50. Yes, and that makes a, a really big part um, that you understand the MINA trend. Yes, if you don't understand the MINA and the major trend, please avoid to, under, to do a technical analysis. Um, uh, it doesn't, uh, doesn't mean anything, yes, if you are doing a technical analysis under, or without understanding trends. So I will bring this uh, in a short phase to you. So we have here an uptrend. This is a MINA uptrend. Here we have a MINA downtrend with a retracement in between. Here we have a pullback from the 200 EMA. Here we have the first test of this round number, yes, the 1.1212. And here we have the second test of the um, one round number, 1212. And that in confluence with the reversal pattern engulfing candle, yes, and this lower shadow uh, wig tail, call it like you want, which is a sign that there will be a big selling pressure, yes, that will be big selling pressure. The only problem, like I have explained before, is that price will trace back to the key level. And that means that this candle will go up to this and will mostly probably also closing above it. That means that you need some kind of rejection from the one deviation Bollinger Band, that would be uh, like a jackpot, yes, or you get a rejection from this level here, yes, where you see the body reversal of this candle, because this candle, yes, was a retracement, price tried to push up, was not able to push up more, yes, because it was the second retest, got back to this level, yes, and that was already the sign that we have now selling pressure on the next candle, price goes down, guns up, yes, and uh, because we have here, let me see, that was a closing price and it closed above, we got a gap up, we got a gap up, yes, it was another tentative to uh, get through this uh, level, it was not able, it's gone down and at the end it's gone up and that is the reason why there will be most probably on the next candle a small retracement in form of a weak bullish candle which will uh, be the next one and after this you will get your bearish candle uh, if you have some patience yes and wait for the next candle okay so that is this one why because we have here a ranging market uh, that is not a trending market. This is a ranging market. You see the EMAs are getting flat. The 200 EMA, uh, the 20, the 200 EMA is flat. Uh, the 20 EMA is uh, almost uh, crossing the, the, uh, the um, uh, 20 SMA, which is nothing else than the middle Bollinger Band. And that is a sign that there will be now coming up some kind of trend reversal, yes, or a pullback, yes. And uh, that is what uh, we expect here. Uh, price is doing here also. The Bollinger Bands are doing a squeeze, which will be a consolidation area so that is only that what i have understood from the chart here uh, to make some things to you more clear and you will see how i traded the same scenario which we have here on friday morning yes uh, you have only to understand the concepts and then you will uh, make it so okay for, but first of all i have to cover uh, you know the ebooks yes let me uh, talk about this because i get so many questions the price action guide seven edition is the same like this one first edition like the first edition of the bot price action bible because i get almost a uh, question what is what, which is better which is better the price action guide or the price action bible and i can say to you only the price action bible is better yes why it's better because the price action bible has each and everything explained that means we have here text where I explain exactly how you have to treat trade 
trade, not treat. Trade every, each and every candlestick pattern, each and every um, chart pattern, and each and every, um, um, what is the last one? Concept, yes, price action concept. Everything is explained in detail. You can copy and paste if you are, it's, if, if English is not your mother language, like for me, you can take this text, copy it into the translator of the Google Translator, and he will traduce, translate it. The English is really easy. There is nothing you should not understand. If I'm talking about the evening star, it's still an evening star. Yes, uh, you should know this uh, words. Yes, you should understand this. If I'm talking about a trend, you should know what a trend is. Yes. So, but it uh, doesn't mean anything that you understand uh, to do trade without understanding trend and without understanding candlestick patterns we have here in the price action Bible 207 uh, 270 pages yes that are so many and the important stuff is that you have to distinguish the real pattern a real candlestick pattern from a non-real candlestick pattern that is what I have called here criteria yes you have to understand the cons the context in which the, um, the candlestick patterns appear that are the criteria yes let me show you this then we have the pattern psychology that what i have shown you here on this yes that uh, price tried to go up was not able to go up close below the one deviation bollinger band this week here is showing selling pressure because we touched the key level and so the next candle will most probably a bearish one and that was a bearish one yes so that is the candlestick psychology and that is explained in the e uh, price action bible also in detail then the support and resistance levels yes um, where they should be what uh, they tell you uh, how they um, where uh, in relation to the chart pattern and the candlestick pattern is this kind of support and resistance level i can show you this here here we have a support and resistance level which is in form of a round number yes and that chart pattern here this double top is showing exactly this kind of strong resistance level because we have one four three five five touches six touches of this level yes and uh, on the fifth touch price started to reverse the same is valid here the 200 ema is also a strong support and resistance level and here like i have explained before here we have the retracement back to key level that's what i have explained so often this also here somebody who is doing a put after this one yes is uh, and doing the put on the same like the closing price of the previous candle this is not a trader a trader should wait for a rejection not from this level from this level here from this level from the one deviation having a rejection from the one deviation is giving you the all from the round number is giving you the hint that your entry point is almost good yes and that means you have to have patience that said you cannot trade each and every candlestick pattern uh, because uh, uh, this kind of flat ema is telling you that there will be retracements and they will hit you yeah it will hit you because uh, you see here um, it's tricky sometimes you have here sharp movements upwards that's those wicks are showing you sharp movements which uh, where price goes up yes and you entering into a call here and price retrace back in the expiration time below your entry point and that's the reason why you got out of the money so okay the price action bible obviously my cons my suggestion to you to get it instead of the price action bible if you are coming with my videos if you know my videos and you understand what i have to say in my videos you can also get the price action guide that is okay because the price action guide has all the illustrations the same content um, like the price action bible the only difference is no explanations only illustrations all the re no rejection trading setups but you have to get the information out of the video and putting them together for yourself yes uh, that is what i have done for the price action bible because so many students so many uh, my of my uh, uh, users who are using my bot uh, youtube channel are Botobo Boto, Boto Trader YouTube channel uh, um, uh, asked me to do this kind of Bible with explanation and that is why this get out of this. We are working on translation like I have talked about, but first of all, I have to get rid of a lot of uh, um, copy and paste mistakes, which are not really mistakes uh, in concept. Yes, because uh, for those one um, uh, who understand how to trade, which I have shown before, 
understand that some, sometimes it's only a word wrong uh, instead of a put it should be a call or something like this yes but it's not that are not so uh, deep uh, mistakes but I have fixed already so many and soon will be published a new edition of the Bible obviously uh, those one who got them uh, will get this for free uh, and uh, yes uh, let me uh, get more in detail in the other topics which I get and then we are going to start about talking about the chart um, last week I didn't show you the, the chart because I have forgotten this I uh, was a little bit stressed under time pressure not stress under time pressure so I didn't uh, got this uh, at the end I forgot it um, and I got so many emails about this uh, if you want the live chart of this video um, of this trade you need to send me a screen uh, an email with the, um, with the subject chart 11 yes or you can uh, get the screenshot uh, from my Instagram account uh, you find the link in the description or you can uh, see this kind of chart at the end of the video I think that this time I will not forget it depends how long this video will be yes but uh, that is where you get this the same is valid also for the price action guide yes uh, with the black one you find the link in the description in the description you will find the link uh, how to purchase it purchase it yes here you see a lot of chart patterns uh, the Pinocchio bar the shooting star yes and uh, you see here is not written what a shooting star has to look like yes here uh, I show you only the candlestick and you have to understand this on your own knowing what a shooting star is instead of the in the price action Bible I show you this in the price action Bible uh, you will find okay this shooting star here yeah, this is what the page of the price action guide which i have shown you here look this that is the page of the price action guide and then came up those kind of pages which i have done especially for the um for the price action bible each and every of those uh, scenarios because that are different scenarios with different contexts with different real body yes of the candle and different strand strands you see this kind of uh, things shooting star inverted hammer depending obviously how you see this yes and here you see the criteria in an uptrend on key level as or between the key levels market in strong uptrend that is should be on the bullish if you get a bullish uh, shooting star you should have a, mar a market in a strong uptrend yes max to a certain wick in relation to the real body yes that is this real body in relation to the wick and the bullish real body so then the side analogy and here the most important part do not enter into a call trade if price is below the halfway and that is this one of the real body or breaking through the opening price that is this one yes the lower part of the previous candle that is this one here yes if price is going to break through the opening price do not anymore call yes you can do a put if price is going to break through this and doesn't stop and doesn't react on it you wait that it's going to touch this and react if it not touch do not any kind of call when do you have to enter into a call enter only into a call trade when price moves in per case time purchase time below the closing price of previous candle yes here between this and this yes between this and this yes and on rejection from below that means you need a rejection from the halfway or from the opening price of the real body of previous candle in upper direction yes much more clearer than this what the uh, price action bible is offering you is no other ebook out there i have covered the most important candlestick patterns which i have uh, distinguished from the 200 or 300 different candlestick patterns which exists yes but nobody know, needs them yes you need only a few one to be profitable you need to master only a few one to be profitable so in this case that is everything what you should know what is included in the bot price action bible and the bot price action guide 
So, okay, that is the difference because I get this question often and often. Yes, really often. I get also the question, what's the difference between the 7 edition of the price action guide, which is better, the 7 edition of the price action guide or the first edition of the e uh, uh, price action bible. The bible and the um, price action guide have the same charts. That means the same illustrations. The only difference is that the price action bible has um, some more specific, some more specific and detailed uh, explanations on each and every candlestick pattern, chart pattern, and concept. That means that everything is explained in detail over and over again. And uh, if you understand the concept, you can get the other ones easily. Yes, because those concepts are explained also in my video. So that is the difference. And I'm working on a new ebook. Uh, that will be the pro bot price action. Uh, okay, that will be not uh, um, taught about this till I have not exp uh, um, done this. But uh, I, there will come a new ebook, yes, with much more information, uh, which uh, will bring and uh, step your, uh, your trading skill to another level uh, with much more illustrations and uh, detailed information how to handle each and every. Uh, candlestick pattern, chart pattern and concept. Uh, I get also the question um, from so many of my users and my audience um, who wants to know uh, the, if, um, yes, if uh, they need to buy both. No, you don't need to buy both. You need to buy only the price action guide or only the price action bible. And the only difference is this. If you are feeling comfortable with my videos, with my 950 plus videos, and you can uh, and you understand what I'm telling there, and you can get this, what you need the price action guide. If you have problems with my English, because English is not my mother language, then you need the price action Bible, because the price action Bible, you get the text out of the Bible, it's a PDF file, and you copy it into a uh, the price um, not into, into the translator Google Translator and then you will get it yes it's really easy um, uh, and uh, the English is not difficult uh, and uh, there are so only some term, uh, some uh, vocabulary yes which uh, which are some something like evening star morning star or something like this that are things which you should know yes if you don't know what an evening star is Please do not buy the buy price action Bible. Yes, because you have first to learn, learn the basics. This price action Bible is not for the basics. This price action Bible is already if you know something. Yes, if you know what the evening star is, what the shooting star is, what uh, uh, what uh, Doji is, what uh, Parabuzo candlestick is. Yes, if you know this, this price action Bible will put you into the next trading level. Yes, uh, that will make you money. I have so many students, so many uh, of my Facebook group who are profitable, yes, uh, who are making money and I get every day uh, emails about blessing the, uh, where I get blessed to have made this kind of price action Bible uh, uh, available to you all. Yes, they are so thankful the people because that what that is in the it's a gold mine. That is what uh, so many of my students are telling me that the price action Bible is a gold mine and my new ebook will be topping this. Yes, that will top this what I have uh, produced in the Bible. Obviously, members of the bot mentorship program will get this kind of uh, compendium then included in their price, obviously. So, okay, that is uh, what I want to tell you in this kind of case with the bot price action Bible and the bot price action guide. Uh, where do you find them? Because this is also one of my most of the most common uh, questions. Where do I get the bot price action guide? Where do I get the bot price action Bible? You will get them in the description and those one who are not watching in the descriptions, Please don't ask me. I will not answer you because those one who not uh, listening to my videos and do not understand that uh, I'm telling this in each and every video that in the description you will find the price action guide. 
and, uh, in the price action bible you are not smart enough to be a trader let me be real yes because if you are not smart enough to move your ass yes to move your on yourself on uh, to try to search for it you are not even motivated to become an any day a pro trader uh, uh, a lot of people think that it's like a game you have to pull uh, the pull the uh, push or put uh, the uh, put or uh, call button yes but no it's not a game you will be not motivated enough if you are not even able to find uh, the link to the in the description to the ebooks if you have questions obviously you can ask them i try to cover all all questions all emails all uh, comments and um, also the messages which you sent me through Facebook. Obviously, I'm not so active on Facebook because I'm uh, not a friend of the social media. But anyway, so that is uh, so. There is no difference apart from the explanations which are in the bot price section Bible, and both can be found in the description. There is a link to both. Yes. So then we are coming to that. What I will produce this week. This week I will make some um, videos maybe it will be first only one video to see how it will um, accept it by you i will do a video which will be like those one which i'm uh, uh, offering here with as my video packs yes and i will show you in this kind of videos my instant uh, my core knowledge which i have gained in years of experience and i will bring it to you much more in detail you will be um, really surprised how educational this stuff which I'm uh, giving away here in my video packs are you will and that is what I can promise you you will improve your trading instantly that means you watch this kind of videos the video pack one has 104 videos watch this 104 videos and your trading style will change and you will become a better trader and you never believe that a video pack can do this video pack one is for the beginner video pack two is for the advanced one moderate one yes for the medium ones the video pack three is for the advanced one and video pack four they are so detailed uh, and much more um, 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 trading uh, trading sessions yes that uh, that are those one who will uh, or will uh, or become pro yes so they are really step by step and they show you and everyone who bought the video pack one after one week bought the video pack too because this kind of knowledge which i'm offering there in this video packs is really unique nobody is doing this and that are not fictive stuff it's the same stuff what i'm doing here on this kind of deep explanation videos only on live chart trades which have done my bot mentorship program students those one are doing uh, every kind of mistake you can imagine and uh, this will be a um, so, uh, this is a super source and a really nice source for you uh, to gain experience and knowledge from mistakes which do other with an explanation of me of, of the pro who telling what they are doing good what they are doing wrong what they could or what they could do and what they should avoid that is what nobody can tell you because nobody is watching about uh, about your shoulder but if you see those kind of trades and i tell you there is nothing what you need to invent new in the on earth everything is already there and so i'm also one of those one i do not reinvent the, uh, the wheel yes i'm using this what there is and that is what i have done in the video packs yes i have done these videos for my bot mentorship program students and i'm giving them them now away and those one are really educational and each and every of my bot students and also those one who bought this video packs are so happy and they are bought, buying not only the video pack one they're buying two three and four and uh, at the end i get emails about uh, them how successful they are and how happy they are that they have uh, purchased, uh, purchased this kind of video packs because they will change your trading for sure yes you will become a better trader for sure because you get instant access to my corners and on the uh, on this week i don't know when maybe this week or next week i will do a new video series and that will be um, uh, something uh, special i will show you what it will be and you will be surprised how educational this stuff will be but this is only to uh, um, 
to make sure that you are there when I'm publishing this. So, okay, then we are getting after the bot mentorship program self study module to the last part, and that is the bot mentorship program. So, in the bot mentorship program, I can say only one thing the price of the bot mentorship program is not a fixed price. The price of the bot mentorship program will be um, uh, established by your work. That means how good you pass through the application process. You know, the bot mentorship program is a little bit more complicated. It's not like all other um, crash courses or uh, courses in general, because I need only students who understand what they are doing. When I'm talking about Evening Star, I want that the, uh, my students know what I'm talking about. When I'm talking about engulfing candle, I know that uh, I want to know is that the student knows what the support and resistance level is. When I'm talking about uh, uh, change of polarity, I don't want to explain what change of polarity is. When I uh, explain my students what price action of the, uh, on the left is, I don't want to get into this kind of detail. That is what the knowledge is giving you, what I'm giving you with my YouTube videos. Those one, and I can tell you only this, those one who have watched all my 950 plus videos are really pro traders. Most of them who have watched them are pro traders. They have maybe some problems with uh, psychology. Yes, uh, I will get in this uh, thing more in detail as soon my internet connection is working better and I have some more free time and more uh, brain opening uh, for new things. Yes, because I'm a little bit stuck uh, because of this kind of internet problems. I, I, I got a fiber optic, yes, uh, but they are doing still some problems and uh, that um, don't let me get into the working flow uh, and into the the um, creative, creative part because I'm always thinking about the internet connection which is making problem. I'm, I have to call the provider so often yes, and uh, that makes me really angry but I have to say there was an advantage. I'm able to upload uh, much faster and that is already a good sign. So the bot mentorship program again uh, for those who want to join the bot mentorship program you have to send me an email with the um, subject bot mentorship uh, with the subject bot mentorship program to my email address botobotrader at gmail.com that is this one here yes there are a lot of uh, payment uh, methods from Squirrel over NetTeller about, about Bitcoin uh, or other cryptocurrency, uh, perfect money, uh, web money and whatever you want to pay with, yes, everything will be accepted. Important is that you cannot buy it uh, immediately, you have to go through the application process and because we have already June, the half year is all nearly over, I will soon stop doing this kind of stuff of the bot mentorship program. So try to get into uh, the with the feet into the door. Yes, uh, that you have me as your uh, as, uh, mentor. Yes, um, that uh, would be for those one who wants this. Yes, so try to get into the bot mentorship program as fast as possible. And also the only the bot mentorship program application process will take a few weeks. It's not so that you come answer seven questions and you are in the bot mentorship program because that is what uh, I think what a lot of my audience thinks. No, that will be not. I'm not willing to get each and every one. I'm really selective. Those one who got chosen by me by the application process that you, you are only a handful. A handful. You have to understand that I have done now five months of um, bot mentorship program and uh, in, uh, in an average, I had every week only 20 students, 20 new students every week. That means I'm so really selective. I have educated in the last five months only 100 and a few students. Yes, and of those 100 and a few students, 95 of them got profitable, successful profitable. This bot mentorship program is your access to a financial freedom, to get an extra income, yes, to become successful, consistently profitable, full-time or part-time trader. And uh, uh, in general, uh, I would not say this, yes, because I'm not this guy of who is doing this kind of advertising stuff, yes. But I have to say, if bot the bot concepts which I have explained in my ebooks would not work. 
I would have been already discredited. Yes, uh, there would be. Uh, I would be named a scammer over and over and over. Yes, but uh, in general, those kind of stuff which I'm teaching, which I'm trying to uh, explain to my students, to my audience, on my YouTube channels. That are real things which are working, yes. Else I wouldn't not be standing behind this. That is what I'm living for, yes. When I started to do my YouTube channel, I was this guy who wants to change something in this kind of financial industry. This financial industry which is full of scammer, full of a liar, yes, who are trying only to get the money out of your pocket. Not only the broker, also those one, yes. And uh, I get each and every day uh, emails from people who got scammed, yes, and uh, they are not willing anymore to invest in anything. But I can say only one thing, you have to invest. If it's not time, it can be time and money, yes. And if it's not uh, money, it has to be much more time. But the problem is, most of you do not have the time, yes. Uh, when I have started um, three years ago with a tra trading binary options, I was broke, broken, yes. A lot of of you didn't know this, yes. But I have talked to this or to also to my students. I had only twenty dollar on my account, yes, on my bank account. I was financially broken, and I wasn't knowing what will, will be happening in the future. And I can tell you only one thing, and that is something motivationally, because I can tell you this from my life, from my own life. When you are at the ground, when nothing looks anymore that it couldn't be darker than this, then every something will happen if you have faith in faith in yourself and believe in the greater forces. And uh, it has not to be God. It has not to be the universe. It can be everything. Yes, and it will help you. But you have to go to the ground and you have to find yourself. And that is what I'm trying also to teach in my bot mentorship program because uh, a lot of uh, traders are doing this kind of binary option stuff to get the, uh, to get rich. I am not there to make you rich. Yes, that is not my mission. My mission is only to prevent you to be scammed. That is why I have done this kind of videos so many years ago. Yes, uh, when I started doing this YouTube channel, because first of all, I was on the IQ option chat um, and I tried to do this there. But uh, the problem is obviously that you, uh, the IQ option chat has some moderations. You couldn't do this like one, and that's the reason why I started this kind of uh, YouTube channel to educate. As much as, pos as much as possible, people out there uh, to become uh, successful traders. Yes, and uh, and uh, nobody can tell me anything, but I, I'm doing here a great work, and I'm getting so much feedback, which makes me uh, every day smiling and also working like today here on. Um, on Sunday doing this kind of video. You have to believe that uh, that is also some kind of motivational question yes, that uh, so many do not have. Yes, motivation is uh, crucial and that is what the application process is about. The application process is some kind of uh, scale to understand if you are if you are motivated enough, if you have the uh, necessary drive to become a successful profitable trader, then the process to become a successful profitable trader that can be taught by uh, me. Yes, as me as mentor, I can teach you this how you can do this. But you have to be the have to be the you have to have the discipline, the motivation. Yes, and obviously some kind of knowledge would be uh, good. But at the end, you get the knowledge from me in the form of the videos, in form of the ebooks. Yes, and obviously uh, um, I know this. Yes, but I'm the only one who is explaining each and everything so in detail. If you're watching other YouTube videos, I'm not watching any more YouTube videos. Yes, uh, of other traders. But if you are watching, uh, and I have seen a lot of ones. Yes, because also um, me. Has has wasted his time with the wrong YouTube channels. Yes, um, uh, I don't want to name somebody. Yes, but uh, that is the reality. And uh, because no one will be uh, 
uh, because they will be shared. There are other people who believe in this, yes. And so you get uh, um, uh, driven by this, by the flow of the other ones, and you are wasting time with uh, only demonstrations how to trade, yes. But they don't explain it, nothing, yes. Uh, maybe they are telling there is a buyer's area, there is a seller's area, yes. And that was it. But in general, how the concepts are working, how uh, EMAs, how the Bollinger Bands are interacting with the price and price is interacting with them. Yes, that is a mysterium, mysterium for so many also good traders who are trading support and resistance. They do not understand how important EMAs and Bollinger Bands is because support and resistance is each and everywhere. It's not only some, not only the horizontal or the trend lines. No, it's everywhere. Each and everything because the market are traded by humans and humans understand and are, are able to recognize patterns they are uh, able to recognize the relation between price and EMA yes because they know okay EMA is a support and resistance level yes the same is with the Bollinger Band why do price reverse often at the two deviation Bollinger Band in a ranging market easily because of the support and resistance else if there would be no support and resistance there would be no reversal so okay i have to stop here because uh, else it will be uh, too long this video and i have to uh, convert it so uh, maybe i will upload it only on monday but i will start now immediately so to become uh, to get into the bot mentorship program you have to send me an email with the subject bot mentorship program to my email address botovertrader at gmail.com and then the application process will start it will have have a lot of steps which you have to cover and each and every step uh, is uh, can be a reason to get rejected or even that you proceed and at the end you can join the bot mentorship program and the price of the bot mentorship program will be established by the uh, process of the application that means better you go through the application process better you have a better understanding you have uh, less you have to pay that uh, and uh, and also the motivation makes obviously a part. I have a lot of who starts the application process and uh, who are not uh, able to bring it to an end. And that is a sign for me already why I do not accept those kind of students because I want motivated one because I'm giving everything. I want that my students are giving everything too. Yes, uh, because I'm doing investing my time. Yes, my precious time. I do not need to do this. I can do everything else what I want. Uh, at the same time but I'm giving my time and so I want that my students are giving everything and I if I see this that uh, the student is not giving everything I will reject those kind of students because I'm not willing yes because the money which I get from the bot mentorship program I do this uh, with a single trade uh, on uh, IQ options so that is not the reason why I'm doing this yes I'm doing this because I'm convicted from uh, in personal convicted that means I want to do this because I had a mission so many years ago when I started this kind of YouTube channel yes and that is uh, what is driving me every morning that is uh, the reason why I'm every day doing my job as a bot mentorship in the bot mentorship program providing my students the amount of videos and uh, so many of my students do not even understand how I can handle this to do so many videos every day yes uh, for my students and uh, um, it's a uh, Greatest time ever, yes, uh, because at the end they have to be done and so on and so on. But uh, this weekend, not this weekend, this week uh, on on Wednesday, I will do this when I have some more time and my students will not uh, cover all my time. I will do this kind of new playlist which will uh, give you super insight in trading um, my core knowledge which i'm teaching you not only in the bot mentorship program uh, 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 person per person also in the self-study modules yes which you can find in the link in the description the same where the price action bible the price action bible is a fundament you should have the price action bible in combination with the video packs 
one and then you will see the power which you will um, uh, which will increase your trading dramatically and you will uh, make money out of the market so but now we are going to start like uh, the chart here i have prepared this already here we have the chart and uh, i will show you my trades which i have done here that were one two three four five six trades six trades i have done six trades here and uh, i will explain each and every trade and what kind of concepts they are important to understand for this so we have here this kind of downtrend here we have a pin bar this pin bar uh, got the confirmation by this candle yes which is a weak candle but the upper shadow is showing still selling pressure it got rejected from the 20 ema please um, at the end of the video i will show you the chart 11 um, for a few seconds so that you can see this but you can get it also if you send me an email with chart 7 on um, uh, chart, chart 11 on my uh, email address botovotrader at gmail.com or even um, if you um, want on my instagram account there will be published the screenshot too so that will be the rejection here from the 20 uh, from the 20 EMA, the next candle was uh, a candle which has broken support and resistance level of this round number, which goes in confluence, which you cannot see with the 50 EMA. And uh, that was the reason why I entered on the next candle into a put yes, on the rejection. And that is important. It's not only important that you do a put, it's important how you do the put yes because the put should be always done on a rejection yes uh, or if you are sure that you have selling pressure uh, in um, on not only on the rejection if you have selling pressure you can do this also on the closing price or above the closing price so let me show you this candle okay so that was the next candle uh, I entered on the rejection from the 50 EMA. This candle has broken this kind of support and resistance level. On the next candle, I entered into a put on the rejection. That is nothing special. That is what I have explained here. Uh, about the entry point, obviously, and about support and resistance. Please watch this. It looks a little bit different. Yes, I know this because I didn't draw on candlesticks, but you have to see this. This candle is a bullish candle, breaks through the support and resistance level. On then you use this level here, which was a minor support and resistance level as uh, the next call, yes, as a trend continuation. That is what I have done here. Let me show you this um, here also again. Let me show you this again. So candle broke through it, goes back to this level and then you have a pullback. So what happens here? Let me show you this so that you understand this better because it's only a price broke through this support and resistance level, goes up to this level, get a pullback and continues the downtrend. That is exactly that what happens yes and that is what you have to trade in a major downtrend you do put options on resistance in a downtrend yes on um, in an uptrend you do call options on support that is the same thing yes only the reverse versa and that is what i'm doing all the time yes nothing else if i don't have some kind of clue what market is going to do uh, with the candlestick pattern i referring always to support and resistance you can obviously not believe in support and resistance if you have a ranging market if you have a ranging market it's difficult that price will reject from any kind of support and resistance level but if you get a rejection from a support and resistance level then you know you there is still a trend active and in this case we had a minor downtrend and that was a clear sign for me and you have this kind of space and that is what i'm telling so often to my students don't trade tiny candles avoid tiny candles because tiny candles will bring you in a bad position why because there is a lag between your execution of the trade and the, uh, between your putting the trade and the execution of the trade which is only a few milliseconds but this will bring you to a bad uh, position because price is not moving in the direction yes that is uh, uh, really um, really important to understand so the next candle happened and i didn't trade it the next candle yes because this candle was uh, for my taste a little bit too weak you couldn't trade this yes because this candle didn't touch this round number and 
and didn't touch the 200 EMA. That is also the reason why uh, I didn't trade it the next candle because I expected some kind of rejection from the 200 EMA, which was a little bit below this one. You will see this on the live chart. On the next candle, I didn't trade it. It was this one. Okay, that was the next candle. And uh, here important is to understand what happens. This candle has broken this kind of round number and then this week is showing buying pressure. This candle was already weak. Here we have the 200 EMA which goes in the SNF zone of this kind of round number and on the next candle I entered into a trade. So a lot of my students would have done what exactly? They would try to follow the trend. Yes, but no, because this week is showing buying pressure. Yes, and it's showing buying pressure uh, because of uh, uh, the long downtrend. Yes, it means I have explained this in one of the other videos. Let me show you this. That was this video where I showed you where in what kind of position of the trend. Uh, the tra is showing you what kind of pressure we are talking about and uh, I don't know which one it was it was this one here look at this so we have here in a downtrend this upper wick more and lower it's in the downtrend it's a call yes and the same is also for the lower wick in a downtrend a lower wick at the end of a trend means that price will reverse Yes, that is what this is, because at least if not reverse, it will be retraced. That is what this is about. And the second one, which is important here, is that kind of concept. And I cannot tell you how often it's important. It will be in inside bar fake breakout. Yes, and that's the reason why I entered on the next candle into a call trade, because this week was showing buying pressure. This candle hasn't broken the uh, round number with determination. This candle has not broken the 200 EMA with de determination. The 200 EMA is flat, so price will most probably reverse a uh, range around the 200 EMA. And that's the reason why I entered on the next candle into a call. Okay. That was the next candle. Important here is where should be the entry point? The entry point should be below the round number. Yes, that is what is important here. Yes, if you can, uh, if you are able to get your trade below the round number, it would be a good entry point. If you are not getting it below the round number, you should try to get it below the 200 EMA because price will reverse or retrace back above this. Yes, that is uh, what this is. And so your entry point should be below this. That is what I have explained here. And I have to stop to show you all this kind of concept because the video is getting again too long. Let me show you this where we have this. The entry point here, yes, above and below here. You see, above the closing price, below the closing price. And if you have support and resistance level, yes, you should try to enter here below or above or here below or above. Yes, that is what I'm trying to teach or to tell you always. The, the problem is that a lot of traders are impatient. They do not have the time or don't want to have the time to uh, wait for the right opportunity and entering immediately. So the next candle was this one. I didn't trade it. I didn't trade it because of the flat 200 EMA, which shows me always that there is consolidation area. I have explained this in detail at the beginning of the video when I have shown you this chart here. This kind of consolidations here are based from the 200 EMA and that's the reason here we have a flat 200 EMA you will see this on the uh, on the uh, live chat um, you sent me an email with uh, chart 11 on my botobotrader at gmail.com email address or my Instagram account you find the link in the description you can find this image or uh, I will show you this later so okay let me do this a little bit more faster I will try uh, to show you the trades and the reason why I took them the next one was this one that was the next candle it was a doji so and what I have told you before about dojis on the doji on the next candle when you are going to enter into a trade you have to trade this um, above or below the closing price because we have here a consolidation area between the 200 and the 100 you can see this more in detail uh, uh, on the live chart I entered on the next candle into a put 
and the next candle was this so that was the next candle this would have been an out of the money if i would have entered in the uh, at the closing price of the previous candle but i haven't done this i entered on the rejection from the 100 ma because this is the area where you have to do puts in the consolidation area and that is the area where you have to do calls in the consolidation area and that is what i'm applying each and every time yes you have to understand this uh, if you are trading in between of the consolidation area and a doji in between of the consolidation area is obviously an indecision candle uh, a per excellence yes that means there is uh, for reason a doji yes so the next candle after doji you should enter above or below the closing price don't do this um, if you don't do this you can lose because price will retrace and you will lose this trade okay so the next candle was then this one i didn't trade this because i have done already three trades this trade here this trade and this one so i get already three and i was relaxed i was waiting for a better opportunity uh, also if i could have then traded this next candle yes because we got here a pullback from this uh, round number yes but i didn't trade it because i was relaxed i was waiting for a better opportunity and the next uh, candle was this okay that was the next candle and uh, on the next candle i could have done a call because you see this candle stopped exactly on the round number a little bit uh, below the lower round number but only a little bit and uh, the lower shadow is showing buying pressure so the next candle could have been a call uh, I didn't trade it, but the next candle was this. Okay, that, okay, that was the next candle. And uh, because of this candle, I understood that this was a fake breakout of the 200 EMA with a pullback from this round number. I entered on the next candle on the rejection from the round number into a call trade. And the next candle was this. That was the next candle. I entered here on the rejection from the round number and from the 200 EMA into a call because that was a sign that we are getting here a reversal. Now it looks a little bit like a double bottom. Yes, so I didn't trade the next one because this candle was pretty much too weak to trade uh, uh, the second top bottom of its double bottom uh, because that is also something what a lot of traders are doing. A lot of my students are doing this. Yes, they are trading the continuation of a trend after such kind of weak candle. No. You can do a continuation after such kind of candle. Yes, that is the second top of a double top. You can do here a put, yes, because this candle is showing selling pressure. But this candle here is showing nothing, yes. So don't expect that a double top, a double bottom will form. Yes, that is uh, something like uh, hocus pocus uh, uh, or something like gambling. Yes, you have to get evidences that there will be this. So what happens next? The next candle was this. I have to bring it to an end because we have already 55 minutes. Okay, that was the next candle. And uh, yes, the next candle here, I didn't trade it anything because uh, it was uh, too risky we have here a bullish candle the next candle can be everything I didn't trade I was waiting to understand if it will be a fake breakout of this kind of round number and the next candle was this so that gravestone do great dragonfly doji was the next candle yes and here yes it's important the next candle I entered into a call trade on the next candle I entered into a call trade um, because this candle confirmed to me that we are getting now this kind of uptrend after the double bottom because this candle has broken the round number at the 50 EMA. This candle retraced back to the 50 EMA and the round number and on the next candle you can expect that price will continue doing the mina uptrend what i have explained in my videos about the double top double bottom and uh about in so many other videos there's a trend continuation after a doji so let me show you the next candle which i entered into a trade so that was so that was the next candle and okay on the next candle i didn't enter into a trade because i had done already here a lot of trades uh, i had done only one trade at the end and uh, let me show you this that was this trade here then i entered into this kind of reversal trade a fake breakout inside fake breakout of the 200 ema then the pullback i traded the pullback above the closing price of the previous candle then i entered on this candle here which was a sign for me that we got a second retest of this support level which is the round number and then i entered on this candle here uh, after the doji after the doji yes so we got here one two three four five trades 
Yes, and then I waited to get the last opportunity. And that was this one. Uh, no, that was missed, not that one. Uh, the next candle was this. So, and after this, because this candle touched the one deviation Bollinger Band in, and now we are going into a ranging market. Yes, important that you can see on the live chart. Yes, uh, chart 11. You will see um, why the next candle was. Uh, yes, this candle touched the uh, what one deviation Bollinger Band, and that was already a sign that there will be uh, coming up some kind of reversal because the trend was already pretty long. We have here already reached the profit target because you see here one. Uh, one of this distance is the same like the distance one. We got here the top profit target So the next candle would be a most probably a bearish one. So the next candle was this so the next one was then this So and after this I have to give a little bit more speed the next candle was this you see We're getting here now a pullback. That's what I have explained in the video about the last kiss and uh, the pullback yes uh, retracement after a uh, dark cloud cover because of the flat 200 ma that retracement here is based because of the flat 200 ma about the ranging market yes and uh, um, because price is going here you will see this on the live chart that we have flat bollinger bands we have flat e flat mas that is the retracement of the flat mas but we still have a minor downtrend because we got here this kind of dark cloud cover yes on the next candle we got this so you see the minor downtrend will continue yes and uh, uh, the next candle will, would have been a no rejection trading setup yes because you have a minor downtrend yes you have a minor downtrend and you are following the trend and so on the next candle I didn't enter into this trade, yes, because I didn't follow the enter because we were too close to the 50 EMA. I was not sure if we are going to break through it. And the next candle was this. That was the next candle. And after this candle, uh, there came up this candle. And that was then the reason why I entered on the next candle. So let me show you this. So that was the next candle, yes, and then I entered obviously in the next candle into a call trade expecting a fake breakout of the 20 and the 50 EMA. You can see this on the live chart. You see how often the concepts are the same and, and also when I show you this one here, yes, the highest probability trading setups, something like this. Yeah, here you see it's looking the same, yes, downtrend, uptrend, downtrend, uptrend and the same is here, yes downtrend uptrend downtrend uptrend so and on the next candle i entered into a call and that was this one so and the last one you see i entered below the closing price of the previous candle on the rejection from this level here yes into a call expecting a fake breakout it was a fake breakout because it broke through the 50 and the 20 ema Yes, and the next candle was then this one. So that was the next candle and uh, here you can expect obviously now a J-hook pattern, yes, and that the price will continue to going up. Okay, so that was this one. Let me show you um, at the end this uh, chart. I have uh, given you some insight in, in how I trade them. That are the basic concepts which I'm expecting from each and every of my students that they understand what I have done here. You see here that was at the end the pullback Yes, the pullback of this neckline of this double bottom, yes, which I have traded. I didn't trade it before. I waited to get this pullback and then on the rejection, I entered into a call. And here again, don't trade two tiny candles um, in no man's land, yes. And don't trade after doji at closing price of the doji. That will hit, will give you often a bad trade. So, okay, again, this candle, I traded this candle, I traded this candle, I traded this candle, I traded this candle, this candle, yes, and then I waited here five minutes, six minutes, and I traded the pullback from the neckline of this double bottom, yes, uh, uh, where here I have had done a, already a trade of the neckline, and here another trade of the neckline, really nice. So, okay, let me show you now the uh, screenshot so that uh, you don't need to download it or email me one second okay the, okay one second okay that was the chart and you see here and you see here um, that candle was the trade which I have pull back break out of the 50 EMA in a minute downtrend yes uh, rejection from the 50 EMA and from the round number and I entered into a put trade 
Here we got the fake breakout of this round number in combination with the confluence with the 200 EMA, which is flat. I have done here the fake breakout of this because this week was showing buying pressure. Then I entered into this put trade because I'm expecting a pullback from the 50 EMA in a uh, 100 EMA in a uh, uh, confluence with the consolidation area between the 100 and the 200 EMA. Yes, then I entered here on the second retest uh, on after this candle has touched the Bollinger Band into a call trade because this candle broken has done a fake breakout of the um, 200 EMA on the rejection from the round number important and through the uh, um, 200 EMA I entered into a call. Then you see here the um, bullish candle which has broken this kind of 100 EMA. The, on the next candle, I entered into a trend continuation on the rejection. Yes, because this kind of two candles confirmed the breakout of the 100 EMA. And then I have done here six minutes nothing, waiting that price gonna uh, reverse and pull back from the neckline, which is in this case also the 100 EMA and the round number. Yes, and then on the next candle, I entered here on this candle into a call. I could have done also this one, but after I have done the six trade, I uh, have finished my sessions and uh, my training session and so I stopped. Okay, that was it already. If you like this video, do a like. If you didn't subscribe, subscribe to my channel. And if you have something to say, drop me a line in the comment section. And I would say in this case, stay safe and bye-bye.